Hello everyone. Uh, I am Ming Tai. You can call me Tai Tai. And I'm the water energy maintainer. And today I'm talking about uh, the water energy dark hole protocol. Uh, read this highlight. So what's water energy? Uh, water energy dark hole is currently a CN safe sandbox project. And it is a, a kind of sandbox that you will execute to the uh, web assembly by code program. And uh, you can, uh, if you are not familiar with WebAssembly, you can think it's a lightweight uh, container to run your application. And in this release, we have support lots of new uh, WebAssembly features, like uh, the type of reference, like the uh, water entry proposal, and the exception handling. Uh, of course, you, when you uh, integrate all of these three proposals, and now support a lot of new uh, GC enabled languages such as Kotlin uh, or the Golang. You know, uh, that's the key feature that we are done in the uh, Watson area. And also, uh, if you are interested in WASC preview two, you will find that you know, the new standard are using the component model. It's another WebAssembly proposal and. We already built the loader of it, so uh, we are starting to build the whole uh, WASI build two infrastructure, and then we were all happy to have it, I believe it's at the end of this year. Uh, we have some you know, AI or ALM features. In our you know, working versions, we already support lots of the uh, frameworks, so you can use the OpenVINO, you can use PyTorch, TensorFlow, or TensorFlight, Run your, you know, the uh, object detection model or lots of different uh, esteem models. And in this new release, we support lots of new, you know, uh, backends. Like, uh, if you are interested to run some LLMs, like Phi 3, Lama 3, or multi model, uh, such as Lava or embedded models. Uh, you can use our, you know, Lama CVP backend or the uh, Intel NeoSpeed framework and also support the uh, uh, text to image or image to image framework. So you can use if you can generate your images with our new backend. And so we have some you know some different applications uh, like you can use the text to voice uh, framework like or check that TTS. And also we have the voice to text uh, application so you can use Whisper you know to transcript like this section into the tags. Okay, so I have a short demo. So you can find that we use the water edge to get an uh, API server. It's an uh, uh, it's, uh, open AI API compatible. And because I'm using a very old device, it's a uh, GTX uh, 10 so it will be a little bit slow. But if you are running a hunter or very you know, new, uh, in very deep or modern uh, CPU devices, it will be faster. So you can, you know, start to it. Like uh, I just asked him to, you know, schedule a, a traveling in Hong Kong, and here is is the output. So, so this is the slide. If my, you know, video is not working. And, the first part is that we already have some, you know, integrate with the uh, cloud native frameworks such as Kubernetes. So you can use Partner to deploy and manage your AI and workload. Uh, as you can see, our previous demo, we are just up and server. So if you are, you know, deploy it in your cluster with the load balancer, you can have, uh, manage your own uh, AI workload uh, with your YAML or something like that. And also, uh, Docker have some, you know. Uh, integrated with us, they uh, prefer to use the web GPU, so that's why I show you there. And then I have a section this day, and it will you know contest more live demos. We talk about how to leverage the GPUs, the CPUs, and different OS. And this is our feature plan. We are uh, you know continuous to support more proposals, and we have continuous to support more backend, like we to support training and more inference framework and for more hardware. 
This is my final slide. If you are interested to talk with us, you can join to our community Discord, and you can go to our you know WhatsApp channel in the same Slack, or go to our you know GitHub link with us. Thank you, everyone.